This fleece is definitely appropriate for this video. Hey everyone, welcome back. So, I've seen a lot of I'm cold makeup looks, especially on TikTok. I really want to jump on the trend, I want to give it a go. So I've gathered some products. Someone actually requested me to do this cold makeup girl look and they wanted me to use the Marshmallow Wonderland palette by A Heart Revolution. I've also picked out other products that represent cold ice, I don't know. So for example, I've got the Anastasia Brow Freeze Wax. I've got this highlighter from Too Faced which looks so icy. I've also got some Christmas makeup from the ELF collection, I Heart Revolution. I've got some sparkle glitter. You get the gist, so you'll see the rest throughout the video. But yeah, if you're interested to see how I do my I'm Cold Girl makeup look, then make sure you carry on watching, hit subscribe, join my makeup Patreon if you like. I'll leave that in the description box. And yeah, without further ado, let's go. I'm so excited for this video. I love looking at these I'm cold girl makeup videos. Um, so what I've noticed from these cold girl makeup looks, I've noticed that they're very delicate on the eye. They're quite matte on the face, but have that glowy highlighter. Um, I'm just gonna do my own twist to it. I am gonna put some eyeshadow on today because I just love eyeshadow. I don't think I can do a look without eyeshadow because I just love it so much. So yeah, there are some delicate shades in this one. I feel like Snowfall is the right video for this. And we've also got some light pinks that I might dip into. So I'm gonna keep it delicate, but of course wear eyeshadow because I, I cannot do a look without having some color. So I think I'm gonna go between Strawberry Cream and Snowball, I'm thinking. And then we've also got some glitter. I've chosen glitter because you know when you walk in on frosty pavements, you can see the frost glistening. That just reminds me of this, so I had to use it. But yeah, I cannot wait to show you the other products because I feel like I've picked some good ones. Okay, I'm gonna start off with my brows. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze Wax. Of course, I had to use this. It's got freeze in the name. It's been a while since I've used this as well, so it's nice to dip into this. This product is very good. Um, I hardly use it because it is expensive, but really we should be using our things even if they are expensive because they're just gone to waste then, haven't they? So I'm just gonna brush these brows off. I'm also gonna put some lip balm on as well. I don't think I'm gonna to do too much to my lips, um, but I am gonna do something. But yeah, do let me know, have you seen this I'm cold girl makeup trend? What do you think of it? I honestly think it's so random. Where the hell did it come from? Uh, but it's fun, I like it. I love wintry clothes. I love ski outfit clothes, like this fleece. I don't know, I love that shallow girl aesthetic. Um, I just think it's fun. I love 80s films as well when they're filmed on a ski resort. Everyone's wearing these colourful, bright, in-your-face ski suits on and I just love that vibe. Okay, so for my eyeshadow base, I'm going to use the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base. This is in the shade Light. I don't know if the cold girl look trend wore bronzer. I don't think it did. I am gonna go with my Vaseline Rosy Lips just to make him rosy. We've been out in the cold kind of look. Look how cute this palette is. It is a bit dirty, I apologize. Um, when it's this kind of material, it's this silicone rubber material, it does get dirty quite easy. So yeah, these are the shades. So I'm gonna go into Strawberry Cream, like I said, on a really fluffy brush because I don't want a lot of pigment as such because I want to keep it still on the delicate side. So I'm going to use this Powerpuff Girl, this pink Powerpuff Girl brush. This is XX Revolution. Strawberry cream. I'm not being precise with this look. I just want a hint of colour on the eyes. And there's no right or wrong way with this cold girl makeup look. Anyone can put their own spin on it. So if I'm doing it wrong, I'm probably I'm doing it wrong, but I just wanted to, I just wanted to give it a go either way. I did change my brush, by the way. I wanted something much, much bigger. This is the I Heart Revolution Pineapple Fluffy Brush. And I do feel like your eyes, well, I don't know, actually. I was, I was gonna say your eyes get red when they're cold, pinky. <laughs> they probably don't know, do they? For this bit, I'm gonna go strawberry cream again and just put it on the low lash line. Okay, now I'm thinking of going into Snowfall, this literal white shade, and I'm just gonna like tap that on all over the lid. 
Wow. I'm going to use a bit of Candyland as well, just on the middle of the lid. I just want a bit of pink, more pink going on. I did mention this palette in my best of I Hot Revolution for 2022. I'll try to link that down below if you're interested in what my favourites are in this brand that came out this year. Some are a bit crossover, some came out in the year before, but you get the gist. So I'm going to add the NYX Glitter Pot now. I'm just going to use this on my finger, no additional glue or anything. This is in the shade Crystal. I just love the look of this. Like, look at the different reflex in there. So fun. This is going everywhere on my face. I'm going to use my split liner from Glisten Cosmetics. This is in the shade Raspberry Punch. And I'm just going to do like a quick liner. I think I'm going to get rid of this. It's I've gone a bit too far. Um, this is not giving me the cold look, is it? For some reason, I wasn't feeling the cold girl makeup that liner. So I've just started again. And we're back to here and I'm full of glitter. Okay, I'm going to go into a primer. I'm super excited for this because I'm opening it for the first time. I have repurchased the I Heart Revolution collaboration with ALF and it's their primer. It's their primer base. I absolutely love this product. It's very Christmassy. And this is my second bottle now. Yeah, it's like a creamy texture. I honestly forgot what this is like. I do remember it does give you a glow, but we are going to mattify ourselves. I feel like with the, the cold girl look, we do need some powder, but I'm just going to put this on the base at the minute. I'm going to look so pink in this video. I'm wearing, literally, I've got pink in the background, pink fleece on, pink eyes. Literally going to turn myself pink at this point. I'm just going to quickly do my brows. I'm going to use the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. This is in the shade Taupe, and I'm just going to put some fake hairs in my tail that sounds so strange i'm gonna put fake hairs in my tail i'm gonna do some under eye color correction this is the made by mitchell lonely heart club blush in the shade teach and peach too many dots under each under eye just like that i've had some new Shein brushes recently so i'm gonna try them i got three the same by accident but i guess if i liked them um, I got three, so that's good. They're quite dense. Um, I wanted something to blend in with my blur shoes. I thought I'm gonna just blend in that blush first. Oh, it feels really soft, these do. They do feel quite light on the handle, but the bristles feel really soft. So for my base, I'm gonna use the Pretty Little Thing foundation. This is a radiant foundation, because sadly I, do, I actually don't have any matte foundations at the minute, so I am gonna do an over face powder after. But I've got the shade Ivory Buff and Golden Beige. I'm gonna mix these two together. I really enjoy these foundations. Um, I wear them to work. I haven't even done it in a corner highlight, so I really need to go back into that. Also, I was thinking, I bet you could easily do a look, this look with the Nutcracker palette. There's a shade in here called, there's no shade names, but there is this shade here that is quite sparkly, so I might use that as an inner corner highlight. I am cheating a bit, I am going in a different palette, but I'm trying to get use out of my palettes. So, going into Nutcracker, I'm gonna take this white shade here, I'm gonna spray this because it easily falls out. I'm gonna put that in the inner corner for now. Extra sparkly this is, the inner corner. I don't like it so much on the eyes because it does not spread very easily at all. This smeared out on your body though, looks quite all right, but who has time to do that? So yeah, I like that aspect of it. I'm going to put a bit on the brow bone as well because we are super flipping icy today. I'm going to wear some concealer today. I'm going to use the e.l.f. hydrating... That looks so dirty. The e.l.f. hydrating camo concealer. It doesn't always look like this. I'm not that gross, but it's just a bad container. <laughs> it leaks. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use this brush again. See what that looks like. I'm gonna add a bit more pink to this look. I'm gonna go in Enchanted. I just feel like I need some a bit of depth here. Um, 
because I'm not used to doing these sort of looks where they're very light and no depth in the out corner. So yeah, I'm just hot pinking the out corner up. I might put another thing in the inner corner here. There's a bit of space. I'm thinking Dreamscape. I really like this shade. I'm gonna put that just in that gap. This is such a pretty shade, this is. Dreamscape is one of my favorite shades in here. I do love it. I'm also gonna take the Sleeping Beauty with I Heart Revolution highlighter. I'm just gonna put this a bit on the brow bone because I do like this as a brow bone highlight. So I'm just gonna put a bit here. I'm gonna use a bit of contour today. This is the She Glam Sun Sculpt Liquid Contour in the shade Golden Sun. I'm just gonna literally use one dot each side. Smells so nice. Let's see what how this brush works with it. I like this brush with it, it's nice. I'm gonna just go over some powder. This is the Powerland Press Powder shade Translucent One. I'm just gonna go under my eyes. Okay, now on to the blush, which I'm so excited for. Because I've got some really good options I've picked out. I've got the Made by Mitchell Lonely Heart Club blush again, but in the shade Cold Heart. This is just gonna be very on theme. Um, yeah, I cannot wait to use this. I'm gonna use the same Shein brush to blend it out. Let's just see what it's like. I'm just gonna put it up there. Wow. Okay, that was a bit too much. Um, let's hope powder can fix that in a bit. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's just go over that. That was a bit too much. Um, a bit on my nose, it has to be on the nose, isn't it? Okay, I am gonna powder now. I'm gonna use the Revolution Lace Powder and then use a big fluffy Spectrum brush. This is their powder brush. And just go over. This is blush crazy in this video. So my other options are the I Heart Revolution Blush in Hearts Candy Queen of Hearts. This is so nice as a blush tapper. But I also have this as well, Dandelion by Benefit. I think this was perfect. Such a nice dusty pink shade. I think I might go with this. Like, honestly, I just feel like this is the perfect blush for those cold looks. I don't think I'm going to go into this, but this could be an option too. I'm also gonna put the blush under my nose as well because I don't know about you, but when I get freezing cold, my nose goes bright pinky red, especially underneath, I do get dry nose. Now for highlighter. This is the Too Faced Diamond Fire Highlighter. This looks absolutely stunning, it feels so nice. Oh my God, it's literally ice queen. So I'm gonna take this on a fan brush swirl it around it like goes into different tones that is so nice look, look at that okay now for lips oh, what shall I do for lips um I was thinking of like just stick with the Vaseline and then use this I Heart Revolution Disney Lip Topper shade Tangled over it. Cause I don't want to do too crazy. I don't want to do anything too crazy for my lips. Um, I might put this on and then. That just looks really nice. I don't know if I'm gonna put the lip topper on. I feel like that's just good enough. I am gonna put lashes on. I definitely need lashes with this look. I'm just gonna use, I don't know where my Relove eyeliner's gone. Taking a trip somewhere. Currently lost my eyeliner from Relove, so I'm just gonna use this Ciarte Wonder, what is it, Wonder Wand? Yeah, Wonder Wand eye pencil. I'm just gonna put a bit on the waterline, not too much. Wait, I might have some, might have some Dr. Seuss. I don't know. I was gonna say I might have some Dr. Seuss eyeliners, but I've gone over this now. 
Okay, so as for lashes, I am going with a half lash today. I just want something quite dainty. Oh, me, Real Love is, Real Love is here, found it. Just gonna do that. Uh, I feel like I'm on a black wing. Don't have a go at me, I can't help myself. I just like to have a shadow wing. I couldn't help myself. I wanted to do a shadow wing, so here we are. Right, I'm gonna pop these lashes on and we can come back and we can just see the final result. These are the lashes I'm going in for, the Style Daisy Mega Lashes, my favorite. So guys, here is my I'm Cold Girl makeup look. Ah, I think it's so cute. All I need now is those white earmuffs, moon boots, silver moon boots, and some tinted glasses and then I, I should be okay. No, but really, I really had fun filming this video. I love doing these sort of trends. I do find it funny though what comes in trend. Like, who the hell thought of I'm called girl Luke trend? Like, it's, it's, it's weird, isn't it? <laughs> We have the Siren trend, we have the Fox Eye trend, which are basically just cat eye, and now we have I'm cold look trend. So here's my take on I'm the cold girl makeup look. I wanted to make it still fun and sparkly. Yeah, let me know what you think, and are you gonna do this trend? <laughs> It was really fun to go back into this palette, the Marshmallow Wonderland, and I do think this colour story fits the theme very much so, especially that Snowfall shade. Um, I definitely prefer this shade, Snowfall, to the one that's in the Nutcracker. I just prefer this palette anyway to the Nutcracker, I just feel, feel like it's more fun. Dreamscape is beautiful next to any of the pinks in this palette. If you have this palette, I tell you now, use a pink and then use Dreamscape because it's just pastel perfection. I wanted to get this up as soon as possible because it is trending at the minute. I was gonna upload, I was gonna upload a festive look using this palette. This is the I Heart Revolution Tasty Gingerbread Palette. That video is coming. I just wanted to jump on this very quickly. So this should be coming next week sometime. I have my Revolution Pro Ultimate Crystal Palette adorned going up on Friday. So make sure you stay tuned. Hit subscribe so you don't wanna miss any of these videos. I also have a makeup Patreon as well. So so if you want to join that, I'll leave that in the description box. But yeah, I hope you have a lovely day. Now it's time watching this and I shall see you in the next one. Bye!